All right, we're almost there. We're backing in my brand new boat. Come on, get in there. Perfect. Looks good. All right, I'd say right there is perfect. But today we rented it. You, you can kind of see it. We rented this island over here. So it costs $3,000 for the weekend. And so it's $1,000 a day. Pretty crazy. And we are going to go camp on like a secluded island. Garrett's running late, but hey, he showed up at the very least. I got my Fummins here, of course. Got the Cummins. And I had to, I did a little paint job on her, Dooley. And it matches my boat. Garrett, good morning. And good to see you. Good morning, man. How you doing? Pretty good. You look, uh, you're sweating already. You should probably take off your stocking hat, but how are we going to get this stuff across the water? Man, I rented out something and I didn't tell you because oh, nice. it's going to be cool. Here, I was going to say, my four-wheeler doesn't float, man. I got a boat, but I ain't putting a four-wheeler on my brand new boat. All right. Well, we have a solution. Check this bad boy out. These come with the island? They come at a fee. Okay. So I okay. You got to pay a little more for it? Yeah. Of course, of course. Nice. These rental companies, you know? Yeah, but, I know, yeah, I know. This ramp, it extends oh, out. Oh, that's what that button does. Okay, nice. So, okay, yep. okay. I see you. So, then, I, was, I was wondering, like, how they mow that place. You know, how, how they get stuff back and forth. So, that's nice. Yeah, this is how. And for just a few extra dollars, got it in our hands. I'm going to get my boat in water. If you want to fire this up, bring it around. And yep. uh, I'll need help lowering my ATV. Yeah, just bring her around. Well, we better detach from our hook here, our cable hook. What's really cool is this actually works. You could see the chain going through. I forget what you call that on boats, but check this out. I have an automatic anchor. So you just like let it go. And that way you don't have to have an anchor boy up there getting all sweaty and dirty and stuff. Then here's like the captain's chair up top. Oh, look at how little Garrett is. Garrett, can you see me up Hello. here? I, I see you. How tiny do I look? You look pretty small, but the weather weather's pretty good up there. Let's zoom out here. This thing has four 425s in the back. If you guys do the math, how, how much horsepower is that, Garrett? Four times 425. That's uh, a lot. Well, yeah, I think we'll have plenty of horsepower to get across the lake. This is uh, this is way too big of a boat for here, but we spent $3,000 renting out the island. I'm going to bring my brand new boat. Garrett, I'm going to go drop this over, beach it on the side if you want to pick me up. And there we go right there. I'll just drop the anchor. I, it's not going anywhere. Not a windy day whatsoever. And then, dude, this thing's huge. I don't know if there's much fish in here, Garrett, but if there are, we'll catch them. Yes, sir. All right, pull up next to it. We'll get you. All right, good enough. Jumping on. There we go. All right, Let's take me back. over and we'll get loaded up. All right, man, this thing's nifty. So it just, it's on like rails, folds out, got a little flap there. Okay, nice, nice. All right, Garrett, we got to get the four-wheeler out the back, man. I'm going to pull it back. Come on. It is, this right. is a pretty heavy four-wheeler. All right, we're going to let the back drop. There we go. Okay, push from up there. Push. This thing's a 900cc. It's it's a beast. All right, tell me when. You think I'm good? Dude, how? Oh, my goodness. This is, are you are you sure we can put ATVs on this? It says it can handle it. Here, like, let me back up just a bit more. There we go. Okay, yeah. and then then what do I do? Jump off, shut it down, and there you go. And Okay, perfect. I got a few yep. uh, camping bags I'm going to toss on there, okay? Here you go. Here's a bag. And then here's, yep, that's my sleeping bag. Perfect. Uh, you go ahead, drive it. I'm going to get everything sorted over here. I didn't show you guys this, but this is Garrett's Forerunner that he has. What's really cool, it's got, like, this is like, in my opinion, when I see a Forerunner, I'm not making fun of anything, but it's kind of like the perfect off road mom car. I don't know. It just seems that way. I'm not saying guys can't drive it too, but just when, personally, when I look at a Toyota Forerunner, it's kind of like a beastly mom car. I don't know. All right, let's get this over here. But if you're enjoying today's video so far, make sure to smash like button. If you guys want to see longer videos, a lot of people are saying that some of the videos are shorter. Let me know. Totally good for making longer videos. Just if you guys want to watch the longer videos, I don't know. Garrett, am I going to hit you? I uh, look to be all good to straighten out. Okay, yeah, straighten out for sure. Yeah. I was about to go over the water, man. Holy cow, this is huge. Good thing we got this little extra like six inches there for the flap. Okay, uh, let me strap it down. We'll get her in. There we go. Shut her down. Don't want you breathing in the exhaust but i think you're good to go garrett nice and easy yeah all right we'll take it nice and slow are you gonna meet me over there i think you gotta come back and pick me up i'm not ready to swim just yet water looks a little cold well hey man do you see that other boat we have that one too oh you rented this one nice yes sir okay i'll jump on i gotta get your stuff out of your car and then yeah we'll be good all right load her up i'll see you there uh, there we go throw the bags on jump on let's hit it this is this is my camping outfit. This is what I usually wear. I got my off-road boots, my jeans, and then kind of like my my puffy coat. I don't know. It keeps me warm. It works good. Got my hat. Joe oh, Garrett. There's Garrett. Oh geez, I almost hit him. Watch my boat. Yep, my bag. I got your bags on here, dude. You bring the whole guy. You brought the whole farm down here. Those weigh like 50 pounds each. But okay, nice. We have uh, quite a bit of boats here. But let's. Uh, what were you thinking for? Oh, Garrett. Shh. There's some deer. Ooh. 
wait, how did they get here? Yeah, how did they get here? They must live on the island. You know what? It's not that deep in some spots they were saying, which we got to be careful so we don't wreck my new $200,000 boat. But uh, that, they might be able to get across when it's dry out. I was kind of thinking it would be fun to camp, like, right right here. But it would kind of be cool in the trees. Too. What do you think? What do you think? What do you want? Ooh. Okay, well, here. Let's, like, look at the area up here. We're paying $1,000 a night to live on this island. It's not, uh, it's not huge, but the cool part is it's an island. So... This is working. The backside's kind of cool too. It looks like it's a lot bigger back there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little flatter, maybe less people, but you got these rocks. Trees are nice, but then they, you got all the stuff on your tent and stuff. So, yeah. So maybe just out here. Okay. There we go. There's the, the tents. They're pretty made. So, two tents. Obviously, we got to make a fireplace in wood. So, this is kind of where we put it. There's a little like peninsula cutty out thing. I think it looks pretty good. So, we should probably bring the boats over, get everything squared away there. And then a campfire. We are allowed to cut down one tree, they said. Okay, one tree? Oh. Yeah, they said try finding like a dead one, a small okay, one, whatever. Okay, the biggest, right? healthiest but... one, you're thinking? Uh, that's, that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm totally with it. Let's bring the boats over, make a campfire, and then we'll kind of boat around, tool around, see what we can do. Well, here we go, guys. We're going to do, uh, we're going to kind of mess around. I was going to just drive it over there, but hey, we fired up a thousand horsepower. We're burning a lot of fuel. We might as well rip down the wake here. Okay, personally, view in here, the, uh, I'm a little shorter, so it's kind of hard to see over the dash. I like to go up here. Holy cow, this is huge. So I'm on like the triple deck. Yeah, it's like 30 feet up there, but you can see a lot, see what's going on. Pretty cool. I'll give you guys a tour of the island we're staying on. This is the back side. Hey, there's a hot air balloon. That's pretty cool. And then we're camping on the other side. Plenty of spots to fish. I hadn't seen any fish. I was asking some local guides. If this is a good place to fish. They don't know because this is a private lake. So, Garrett, you think my bass boat is a little overkill? Uh, a little is an understatement, but hey, I like how it looks. Do you even have one life jacket on here? I'm looking around and... I just bought this thing, literally put it... This is the first time it's been in the water since the dealership, so... Okay, okay. So, we'll never have life jackets. Probably no not, probably not. But, <laughs> heck, this thing's never going down, but... Yeah, I got an automatic anchor. That's really nice. So you don't have to mess with the anchor because otherwise that would have been your job. But let's jump on four wheelers and the high lifter and let's rip around for a bit. All right. Remember, we have to find a tree. You've got to do something productive here today. That's true. As we're ripping around, I tell you what, Garrett, if you see something that we're going to cut up, that'll be a good time to do it. All right. Sounds good, man. Do we got helmets? Ah, uh, screw it. Yeah, you're, I'm the only one who should probably be wearing a helmet. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty solid in here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, any, this island's pretty small. But, hey, they say there's some ghosts that live on here and stuff, so it should be a crazy night tonight. I did not hear about that. Yeah, that's what they said. That's why a lot of people come here. Well, that's not why I came, but I guess it will be here, so that's fun. <laughs> Any good trees you find, we're ripping through. Hey, there's not, not too many good jumps. Let's it's see. not the biggest island, but again, it's our island. That's so true. That's, that's true. I'm going to go in the water a bit here, dip the tires in. Yes, sir. Honestly, one of these trees over here looks pretty good. Probably okay. this one. Like the medium size one you think is good enough? Yeah, this one kind of right here. I think that's a good height. Well, Garrett, this one looks good, man. This one's got your name on it. All right, well, let's get shopping what then. What chainsaws did you bring? I, I don't know. This is the only ones I could a find. Walmart chainsaws, but hey, whatever. Let's cut her down here. Make the cut. Right, looks good, right. Timber. Watch out. Okay. There we go. All right, that, that wasn't too bad. This isn't huge. We, we don't need a bunch of firewood. It's going to be pretty nice weather, so... We aren't going to be having to, to keep warm too much. There we go. We yeah. just need it for some light and to tell some scary campfire stories. Yes, sir. Here, yes, grab sir. the ranger, pull around. I'll cut her up. All right. Sounds good. Here, they said we could only have one tree. Yep. One only. Hey. Got to make do with it. And they said if there's any extra wood to let them know where we leave it. So. Okay. Okay. That works. But I I, we we'll should be good for time. at least two nights with this wood. By the time we split it, you know, do all that and stuff. But uh, you bring an axe, by the way, to split? I did not bring an axe. I thought you were bringing okay. an axe. I mean, what are we supposed to do with the stump? We just leave it. I don't okay, know. Just leave I, it. I don't have a stump. Sometimes, grinder. sometimes I'm. Sometimes stumps are ready to leave high, so then people see it, or like all the way flush to the ground. I can't get it flush to the ground, so hey, we're just gonna leave it. Okay, you already got strapped up. All right, I'll be right behind. Oh, we dropped one. All right, throw her on there. All right, here she comes. Dad, they really limit our wood. If we have our three exhaust right there, it could start a fire, Gary. If that's dry enough. Well, hey, we'll warm it up. If it's wet wood, it will be dry. That's true. That's a good point. Let's head back to the campsite, kind of get things going. The sun is going down here soon, so by the time we cook and eat, it might be too dark to kind of do anything, but that's okay. All right, Garrett, looking at it now, dude, I'm a little worried. We're going to be freezing tonight with no firewood. Man, this is not going to be burning for too long. We'll have to 
cook up right away. Yeah, we're gonna cook up right away. I think tomorrow we're hey we're just gonna we're gonna try and get that stump gone, so, and then we're gonna cut down like a bigger tree because we need a lot more wood than this. And uh, hey, the boats look pretty good up here, but yeah, let's get this thing lit. Get so uh, I brought brats and burgers. What do you want? Both? Uh, I'm down honestly just for a burger. Okay, Not that too works. Hungry. I'll be brought and a burger, man. After cutting down that wood, we're splitting it here. I'll be pretty hungry. All right. Then enjoy your meal, man. Well, there we go. We put out the fire to kind of save some wood. The lanterns are on. Dude, I love these lanterns that we brought. They're awesome. Yeah, man. They do light up the place. But... Yeah, they're real. They they burn on like old uh, old used oil, motor oil or whatever. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, and I think there's some kerosene. I, I don't know, but Garrett, it's probably too late. I was thinking we'd take a little boat ride, but it's getting a little too dark. Yeah, but man, look at the water. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, that looks good. There was a few spots where there's like logs in the water and like low spots. I think that's how the deer got across. We got to be careful tomorrow. Yes, sir, we do. But hey, this was a fun day and I'm ready to hit the hay. Yep, you're getting to bed here, man. Uh, yeah, I, I would fall suit too. But good thing you didn't have any bean burritos because last time in the RV, man, you stunk it up. We don't got to talk about that. Okay, I don't want to embarrass Garrett. All right, my tent's to the left one. Yours is the right. Good night, man. All right, see you in the morning. Psst, Garrett, wake up, man. What's up? What's up? All right, you ready to uh, ready to rip the boat? Man, we're gonna scare all like the wildlife. It's, it's all right. It's right. I'm gonna jump on my boat. We're gonna do we're gonna do three uh, one lap around. See so who can make it the fastest. Your little boat or my big one? Okay, let's sure, fire let's... it up. Maybe hey, maybe hey, we gotta do it fun. This is all we got. Yeah, maybe your boat will break halfway. Who knows? Back her out here, man. Let's race. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. I got a little bit of lead already, but here we go. Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. All right, we beat him off oh. the gun. Oh, no. Hey, this you is might not be able to call. Oh, there's some. Oh, gosh, there's trees oh, up ahead. Oh, Spencer. I didn't even see that, man. All right, back it up, back it up, back it up. I'm going to win. No, you aren't. I'm getting turned around here. All right, we're turning the corner, boys. I still don't see him. Yeah, I'm so short. I couldn't see him. There he is. I couldn't see above me. All right, we're cruising now. What are we hitting? We're hitting 55, 60, 65. We're flying. There we go. All right, I jumped up to the top one. We're coming around the corner. The final turn. See you later, Garrett. No. There we go. We beat him. We even crashed too. But dude, this thing, once you get up to speed, it flies pretty fast. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Garrett almost hit me. If you did, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Garrett, I'm swimming, man. Come pick me up. All right. All How many right. horses do you got in. back there? Yamaha? Two, two, 25 horse? Yes, sir. But hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah.